Hi guys, today we're gonna read the book Explore My World Penguins Jill is Bomb National George Rafic Kids Washington DC Read by Milk An Emperor Penguin For these penguins Antarctica is from home sweet home. It's a frozen snowy place without lakes or rivers or a single blade of anything green. So, it's Antarctica, isn't it? The place where snow covered all. Waddle, this tall as a first grader bird, doesn't mind that the temperatures are below zero. Way below zero. Their bodies are perfect for a refrigerated life. Refrigerated? In a refrigerator? That's a joke. A baby penguin would not survive long in this frozen world by itself. Luckily, Edinburgh parents know how to protect their little one. After mom lays an egg, she rolls it from her web feet onto dad's. Oops, careful! When the egg is safely atop dad's feet, phew, he lowers a special feathered pouch to keep it cozy. Mom leaves right away. She needs to find food, and for that, she must travel to the sea. She will walk many miles before reaching water. Her leathery feet march across the snow. Her sharp claws grow icy spot. When she finds the sea, mom will feast for weeks. So what about baby and daddy? Brrr, why Antarctica? Can you waddle like a penguin? How can penguins live in Antarctica? Leathery flat feet are great for standing on ice and swimming. Why do you keep your feet warm? Feathers are tightly packed tight and waterproof. Underneath a layer of fat called blubber help protect against the ch ch chill. Is your hair waterproof? Sure. Boom, chilling cold, icy winds, blizzard. Peng the penguin dad stands through it all keeping the egg safe and warm. He, he does not get a break for two long months. Not even to eat. So how can he live? Interesting. To keep from freezing, all the flounder penguins in a group or colony huddle so close together. They take turns shuffling into the toasty middle, then out again. Ow, oh, that is so good. Penguins are so, so, so smart. Mom returns, Mom Penguin returns to the colony in July or August. She and Dad call back and forth until they find each other. Why? Hello, Jake. Oh. He or she's penguin is born. Congratulated their parents. Congratulate mom penguin and dad penguin. As soon as mom tucks the hatchling into her own feathered pouch, dad takes off. It's his turn to find a seat and much needed food. Like mom, he waddle walks over miles of ice and snow. He something flops forward to toboggan, pushing with his sleeve. His feet and slippers. Oh, flippers. I think it's slippers. What's for lunch? What do emperor penguins eat? Penguins eat food found only in the sea, like Antarctic silverfish, hot squid, and Antarctic krill. From their colony, penguins might have to walk 50 miles to find an open and frozen water. They dive deeper than any other bird to 1,850 feet, and they're able to stay underwater. Alert. Mom, penguin's belly is still full of seafood. She brings bits up into her mouth to feed her chick. The fizzy chick grows bigger flavor. It pops out to take a look at the wide 
wide neighborhood and toddles over the snow to meet new friends. Wow. The little penguin is ready. Summer arrives in December and I see her colony breaks up and the adult penguin chicks it while mom goes off to fish. Oh. Babysit. Babysit or chicks it? Strange word, but it's also interesting and it's like a joke. Dive penguin. At last, the penguin is big enough to try swimming and fishing on its own. Sploosh. Penguin map. There are 70 different types of penguins. Most of them live in Earth's southern hemisphere along the coast. Follow the key below to see where on Earth some of these penguins live. Okay, so there are a lot of penguins. Uh-huh. Yeah, Pugos penguins, Hambodi penguins, and more. 